Hi, this is Richard from Endless Brick Studios. We're the people that have created minifiguniverse.com. Uh, hopefully you've seen it by now, but if you haven't, here's a, uh, well, very early version of the website. We're still putting the final features together on the website, so it doesn't look like this anymore. But the main functionality is here, and that is it allows you to browse through a whole series of Lego minifigures and see in great detail what they look like. And what you can do is you can rotate the uh, pictures of the figures just by dragging on a tablet or clicking and dragging with a mouse and if you tap the image you can zoom in and look at the figure in great detail from any angle whatsoever here's what it looks like from the back I zoom in there we go and you can also of course run it full screen and see what it looks like so that's the main feature of minifig universe I thought it would be interesting to show you today how we actually produce these rotatable images. So the way it works, I have a computer here. This is a Microsoft Surface Pro, but it's it's a PC effectively. And what we do is we put the uh, the figure in front of a camera. We take a photograph. We then rotate the figure exactly 10 degrees. Take another photograph, rotate it, take another photograph and keep doing that. And by doing that 36 times, we have enough images where we can create a fully rotatable minifigure. We then take those photographs from the camera, we resize the uh, images, we crop them to the right um, ratio and upload them to the website. And we, we actually produce um, 11 different sizes of images from 50 pixels all the way up to a thousand. That's how it's done. Now, to do all that manually would take a very long time. It would take a couple of hours per um, photograph because you'd per, per minifigure because you'd uh, need to photograph it many times. You'd need to edit in Photoshop, uh, create lots of different sizes, manually upload them to the website. Obviously, that's way, way too long. So what we've done is we've automated it. So the technical details are um, we have a Surface Pro computer here connected to the Surface is a camera. This is an SLR camera. Also, we have this, and I don't know if you can see this, but this is a an automatic motorized turntable. You can see a one by two plate in the middle there that rotates and it's powered by Lego Mindstorms. This talks to the computer through Bluetooth. So everything is automatic. So uh, let's see it in action. You can see how easy it is for us to produce these images. So we're taking photos of, uh, these are Hobbit figures today. So let's do uh, one, I don't know if you can see this. This is uh, the Archer. You can open this bag one-handed. Sorry about the wobbly camera work here. I'm uh, trying to do camera and work at the same time. So we take the figure, clip him securely to the turntable like so. What I can do over here, I've got an external monitor attached to my surface and this is a piece of software that talks to the camera so I can fire the shutter just to see what it looks like and that's the figure yep that looks pretty good so let's get going so back on the surface I'm going to start my um, custom program this is a program for the technical people it's written in C sharp it's a WinForm program just takes a moment or two to start here we go I'll just put it on the other monitor so you can see it a little bit better. So all I need to do is enter the item number that the website needs. And I'm just going to um, fake it by typing in Archer. And then I hit go. You'll hear the robot kick in. So back over here, the robot starts, the camera takes a photograph, the robot rotates 10 degrees, takes another photo, rotates 10 degrees, takes another photo. And it keeps doing that 36 times. As I say, it's all automatic. Back over here on the monitor, you can actually see the photo that it's taking. This is what it's going to look like. So that's progressing nicely. Uh, we're on photo number nine now, eight, nine. We're just going to let this run for a little while. While I'm doing that, I'll just show you around the robot a little bit more. So this is sort of the camera view. Let's see if we can see it. actually see through the uh, viewfinder of the camera. Uh, not very well. But... 
you can just about see what the camera's taking. And we'll let that run. So we're halfway done. Three quarters of the way done. Okay, that fanfare indicates that the uh, robot has finished and just behind this screen, a new screen has popped up. This is the crop screen. So it's looking at the first photo that was taken and the idea here is anything on the right hand side here, this is the photo that will get uploaded to the website. So this is what it looks like. We're a little bit cropped too closely, so I'm just gonna move the crop a little bit. Let's just zoom out a little bit reposition and to make sure I'm absolutely in the center I can uh, show the grid here see I'm not quite in the center so let me just move it a little bit more move it down a couple of pixels that looks pretty good so I'm just gonna hit OK and what it's doing now over here you can see it's cropping the images resizing them and getting them ready and if I go over here, you can actually see the images. I don't know if you can see this or not. But you can see the images actually being created in real time. So here we are. So the software produces about 400 images in total because we have uh, 11 different sizes times 36 images. When it has produced all the images, it will automatically take those images, upload them to Windows Azure blob storage to the content delivery network. And that's where the images are served from. And uh, it's all automatic. And so within about two minutes of me putting the figure on the turntable, it becomes available on the website for everybody to view. So that is a quick look at the, uh, the 360 degree robot we've built and uh, the process that uh, we use to take um, figures Photos of figures for minifigureuniverse.com. Thanks for watching.